Milton Keynes is our location today and we've arrived at Hydrofeed, a company known for their automation solutions. Ashley, you've been subcontract machining for over 20 years now, but the last three, you've really embraced automation. Now we're going to come on to the bar feeds in just a moment with Martin, but how's the robo job affected and improved your business? I think in particular that the biggest side of it has been the work in progress for us. So uh, in, in particular, most components might be four or five operations and we're now completing them in effectively a single operation, but there is two operations holding two vices, but the robot has enabled us to load it once onto um, the load and unload surface. So we're actually, we've cut out multiple operations, cut out weeks of work, um, and, and saved ourselves an awful lot of, of cost. Can you explain the whole process from how you're loading, picking up, and how it's working in this particular machine, the Doosan behind us? So this particular model, the, the Millassist Essential, we're able to put the raw material onto the table. Uh, the robot will pick up the raw material and load it into a five-axis table. The five-axis table does its thing, so it hits as many faces as it can. Uh, we take the part out of the five-axis, put it onto what we call the turnover station, and it does the second operation into a static vice on a three-axis bed. So it's interesting, you're kind of practicing what you preach. Now, yeah. how financially has this benefited you for winning future work? Uh, massively. I think we've been able to keep the same price uh, of a lot of the work, especially our own product. And um, because the, the product is going through the workshop a lot quicker, uh, we're keeping the same price for the product. Effectively, our hourly rate is increased almost. So our, our productivity is higher, our efficiencies are higher, and we're almost getting more for our components. Right, let's go and speak to Martin now about the bar feeds. Martin, it was inevitable. You were always going to put your own bar feed into your subcontract facility, weren't you? We were. It was always an intention to, to do exactly that, Lindsay. And we've, we've not only had them here on this machine, but they're dotted throughout the rest of the workshop as well. And they. But you're embracing your technology in more ways than one behind us, aren't you? We certainly are, yes. Uh, the, the, the bar feed has always been our core product. Um, and it's proven very, very successful for us over the years. However, as machine tools have grown, it's been incumbent upon us for our automation equipment to grow and complement that equipment. And what you're seeing behind you here now is not only a bar feed feeding bars in, but the finished component that's coming out on the other side is a particularly sensitive component as much as it has a high aesthetic value. So it can't be dropped into a parts catcher. Some very close tolerance parts on it so we needed to be able to handle that softly. So we are co-joining our robot technology with the bar feed technology to feed the bar in, to machine the component. Then the robot enters into the machining envelope, grabs the part, breaks it off softly, and puts it down onto the robot finished position. So it's a complement of the two levels technology. of automations and technologies that we're now representing uh, and it works very very well indeed and it's given our subcontract division a wonderful wonderful competitive edge so i know this is a little bit of a tough question to answer but how do you think now what you're doing in the progress of technology is going to change the subcontract division utilizing your own automation i can only answer that from what it's done for us traditionally the machines such as you're looking at here would have been a, a much higher labor intensive machine. We would have had to have had somebody standing in front of our vertical machining center loading those billets and unloading them. This particular product behind us would have had to have been billeted and cut and again we would have had a labor intensity of somebody standing in front of it. It's revolutionized that technology because we can now put the bar on, feed it through, we can run it lights out all evening if, if, if the batches uh, suffice. And it's the same with our milling side of things. The milling side of our company has always been a much more difficult technology to automate, purely because of the nature of the components, the raw material that you're putting in. We can now, with small volumes and lots of mixes, we can be changing from one job to another in a matter of minutes, and we are automating our machining centre side of our business to the same level as we were traditionally doing with our bar feed. 
and we're rather hoping that the robots that you're seeing here will evolve throughout the UK to become the norm and keep us all competitive with the rest of the world.